The key to squishy circuits is Play-Doh that conducts electricity. Most store-bought Play-Dohs will conduct because they have salt in them. But if you need more conductive dough or you want additional colors, it's easy to make your own. To make conductive dough, all you need are common kitchen supplies, such as a stove or a hot plate, a pan with a non-stick coating, measuring cups, and a spatula. To make a single batch, you'll need one and a half cups of flour, gluten-free flour would work, one cup of water, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, food coloring of your choice, a quarter cup of salt, and three tablespoons of cream of tartar. Start by mixing the water and the oil and putting them into your pan. You may choose to use food coloring and in our projects, we always color the conductive dough and leave the insulating dough white. Follow with one cup of flour, one quarter cup of salt, and your three tablespoons of cream of tartar. Begin by mixing to remove all of the clumps. After removing all the lumps in your dough, we can apply heat. We found that a medium heat works best and it's important to keep stirring continuously. As the dough cooks, it'll begin to thicken and harden and lump together. As the dough begins to heat, take the remaining one half cup of flour and lightly dust the surface of a cookie sheet. You don't have to use it all at this point because we'll be kneading some in later. Continue to stir your dough and you'll notice it starts getting lumpy in the center. This is when it's critical to keep stirring. As the dough thickens, make sure to scrape the side of the pot so that all of the dough cooks evenly. Once the dough is at a good consistency and forms into a ball into the center of the pan, it can be removed and placed onto the floured surface. Be very careful because it's hot at this point, so allow it to cool for a few minutes before kneading the additional flour into the dough. Sprinkle some flour on top. You don't have to use the entire remaining one half cup. You just want to make sure that it gets to a good consistency. Once you've kneaded some flour in and it's at a good consistency, that's it. You've made your own conductive dough. You can start making squishy circuits right away, or you can put it in a sealed plastic bag and store it for several weeks. The dough can be frozen for longer term storage. Thank you for watching and happy squishy circuiting.